Shaper 1000 here. Uh, today, I got something kind of interesting. Well, it's interesting to me. I don't know if it will be for you guys. I don't know if it has anything to do with anything at all. But I just want to bring up something that no one else has seemed to caught yet. And if they have, they haven't said anything. So let's jump into this and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay guys, what I'm talking about is um, Trevor Jacob, his plane, his crash. We all know he crashed it. I think he did it on purpose. Like I said, this is all speculation for me. Today I've got more questions than I do anything else. If you can help me out on it, let me know in the comments below. But um, the engine that was in his plane that he crashed was not the engine that was in that plane five years ago. And here's the proof. Okay guys, so th this is what I wanna show you. Uh, a couple of these um, photos I'm gonna show you here are from, none of these are my pictures. These are pictures I've downloaded. These are screenshots, okay, that I'm gonna show you here um, from YouTube videos. Okay, now this video was taken um, five years ago, okay? Um, now, if you look at this engine, this is the plane this is the plane that he was flying. See, the NC29508. This is the plane he crashed. This is the actual plane. This video was recorded five years ago, okay? He, uh, this guy was taking his uh, tail, tail wheel, which is this here. They also, they're also known as tail draggers, um, right here. Um, but this he was taking his endorsement in a 1940 BL 65 Taylor Craft, and this is the plane. Well, you can see the paint scheme. There's the number on the tail, the NC 29508. That's the plane. There's no question about it. Okay, I want you to pay kind of close attention here. Okay, this has got what's it called a Lycoming engine. I know I'm not saying it right guys, I'm sorry about that, but okay, if you look, see the uh, circled L on the valve covers, and you got your dual spark plugs in each cylinder. It's got four cylinders, um, and they're opposed, but it's got two spark plugs in each cylinder. Therefore, it has two magnetos, and I'll show you a picture of those here in just a minute. Um, it's got two magnetos. Um, one runs one set of four spark plugs, the other one runs the other set of four spark plugs. That's why I said I can't I can't see both the magnetos going out at once because if you got one magneto go out, you're still going to be firing on all four cylinders. It's just not going to be as efficient. Okay? So you, you can pull off four of these spark plug wires and it's still going to run. You're still going to run on four cylinders. Okay? Now, but now if you look at his plane. Look at this. There's only two spark plugs up here on top. Looks like there's two in the bottom, which this is a, uh, a Continental engine. All right. But, and of course, we all know this was filmed at the end of last year. This is still January. So, okay. So you see that's, that's a totally different engine. All right, now I'm going to show you something here. See, you can clearly see one spark plug in this cylinder. You can clearly see the difference in the valve covers. Now this um, this engine here, see there's overspray. There is not a drop of oil on this engine anywhere. Okay? So if this plane, this plane supposedly was sold for parts, and um, it, they called it in disrepair. 
But man, does that engine look like it's in good shape. Who's going to rebuild an engine just to crash it on the ground? Because, you know, you're talking a Continental engine, uh, which is an aircraft engine that's, you know, very expensive. Okay. Um, now, this is the engine. Not the exact one, but this is the uh, engine. See this, the L, the circled L here, the two spark plugs in each cylinder. This is the engine that was in it five years ago right there not like I said it's not the exact one but that's the engine that was in it all right um, I'll show you something here that okay so it had um, it had one of three engines okay it had 65 horsepower I think it's Lycoming O 145b2 all right so when we looked that up here it is right here and that's the picture that I have right here okay that's this picture and that's what it has in it five years ago so what I'm saying 2016 is when this video was filmed right up here you can see the uh, right here where my pointer is that's the um, the uh, the fuel gauge the farther up that is the more fuel you got okay this is the airspeed indicator which does run into what I was talking about that one day uh, I think on my last video that tube that goes in that was unhooked here but in his uh, other videos or in his video where he crashed a plane he has another one on here I don't know if you can see it in here here it is right here okay it's their speed indicator I'm guessing but I know the one inside wasn't hooked up okay but look but our main focus today is on this engine okay so we know it wasn't that engine all right we, we know that it, it can't be right so it also had the Continental a65 okay which is I had them all brought up here, but I took pictures of a uh, screenshot, um, which is this engine here. See, you got two on top, two on bottom. Okay. Here's a side view of it. Look, totally different valve covers. You can see that. All right. Here's the magnetos. All right. So you got two on top, two on bottom, which, like I said, it looks to me like there's two plug wires up here and two plug wires down there. So this is the Continental, okay? When I said it was A65. Um, and here is a front, or I guess a rear view uh, picture of it. Because here's your magnetos, all right? And here's your two plugs top, two on bottom. Two on top, two on bottom. Okay, so it's definitely got a Continental engine in it which it it had from the factory okay so which here you can see the two motor mounts all right and here is another picture here are the two motor mounts right here where my pointer is right here are the two magnetos so there's no question that it had a continental engine in it and it had a continental engine in it from the factory we know it's not a franklin because here's a franklin engine Okay, so the Franklin had the spark plugs side by side. Okay, the Continent and so did the Lycoming. I know I'm not saying that right, but uh, they had them side by side. Now, in the video where it crashed the plane, you had one on top and one on bottom. So we know it's not them two engines. So, okay, right. So it's got an engine that it had in it from the factory. Which, you know, it did, like I said, it did come with the uh, Franklin AC-176. Okay, so we know it's not that one. We know this engine that was in it when it was crashed was an A-65. Okay. Um, well, look at it. 
You know, it's definitely not a Franklin. That is definitely the Continental A65. But five years ago, look at that. That is the plane that he crashed, but five years ago it had this engine in it. Now, which I believe, I was doing some research, but I didn't get into it a whole bunch. But I believe this was a better engine and was more expensive than the uh, Continental A65. Okay, it was supposed to have been a, uh, a better engine and it was more, um, this engine was more dependable. Um, it had more horsepower. Okay, so, but, um, so why, my question is, why was that engine changed? I understand, okay, I understand wholeheartedly that that engine was changed. Let's go to YouTube, see if I can bring that up again. Okay, let's look under my uh, library here. Right here. Okay, so this was... All right, prime three times. Okay, yep. If you want... Uh, March 28, 2016, five years ago. This is the plane. Okay. All right. So there, there, there. You got it. You got it. It was, it was five years ago. It had this engine in it. Um. Now it's got the Continental engine in it. What I'm, what I, what I don't understand is if there was also reports that he was. Um. They. The word, the wording was feverishly. They were he was feverishly working on this plane um, days before. It was also seen in the air over the crash site days before. But uh, leading up to this, um, he was at the airport working on this airplane. Was he changing that motor? I mean, if he changed, you know, from this motor. Well, if he changed from this motor to this motor, why? Why did he change it? Um, I understand that, you know, every every so many hours these things have to rebuild. You can only rebuild an engine so much because parts do wear out. Pistons wear out. Uh, crank journals wear out. You know, uh, your cylinders, they wear out. Okay, I understand to where, you know, you can go, well, it's not feasible to rebuild this engine. It's cheaper to buy another one. But did he put this engine in here or was it in here when he bought it? A lot of things can happen to a plane, car, truck, whatever, in five years. Okay, was this engine, and, and like I said, it does look like, well, let's see. It does look like this engine has been rebuilt, but I can't see him rebuilding an engine just just to crash it i can't seem spending that kind of money because it's not you know it's it's not you know i can rebuild our toyota tacoma engine for around four or five hundred bucks this is not a toyota tacoma engine this is you know a 1940 continental engine or thereabouts it's not the original engine so you know it could be a 45 46 but it is an older continental engine um so why would I mean, this this one here is on eBay for like forty five hundred dollars. Okay, so I mean, this engine was was definitely freshened up. You can see it was a freshened up engine. I mean, it's been repainted. It's been freshened up, but it wasn't only just freshened up. So, I mean, I guess what I'm getting at is this, if he changed that engine from a better engine, you know, to, I mean, you can change these engines, you know, by yourself in a day. There's really nothing to them. Um, to go from this engine to that engine, maybe could, could, could also be somewhat proof of premeditated what he was going to do. You know, he was planning on doing it. Um, you know, somebody said, "Man, you don't want to, you don't want to crash that engine. Get you, you know, because you you can get these um, down here in Florida, especially in the summertime. About seventy percent of the time you go to the gas station, someone's pulling in 
uh, pulling an airboat with this engine on it right here one of these engines on an aircraft engine they use them a lot they also use Volkswagen engines they use V8s they use V6s I understand but this is a very well known down here in Florida uh, engine run on airboats okay so maybe said someone said you know well, I'd like to have that engine for whatever for my plane let's go ahead and switch them you know okay I'll give you this engine let's trade them out spruce it up a little bit but it looked to me like they were trying to make it look like this engine for some reason I don't know why because you know here's an engine that has supposedly never been rebuilt okay um, these are black they're not red the engine is, is a gray color it's not painted red however this one is why would he try to make it look you know why would he try to make that engine look like this engine it doesn't make sense you know like right right here I mean look at this there's overspray these the heads of these bolts look there's if you paint them then put them in you're you know you're gonna wipe some of that paint off your screwdriver or wrench or whatever it takes I think this one takes I think it takes a wrench but you can put screws in them but see here's the screws the screw heads even so all right there should be scrape marks here right in here this looks like a slotted head standard head screw and it's paint there's paint over it. this these screws were painted after they were put in not before um, you know what what about this back here did this have to be off of here no not necessarily you, you can tape that you can looks like they taped it here and just kind of missed um, you can tape around that but this does look like a fresh engine why would you freshen up an engine just to go crash it and why would you sell an engine for parts or a plane for parts if the engine was fine look at this looks fine to me I mean it ran fine it got it up in the air I mean I, I don't understand why somebody would freshen up an engine and then just, just pretty much well scrap it out, kind of, is kind of what I'm getting at. Um, the plane was sold for parts, but in a few days, he got this thing up in the air. So how was it in disrepair? I understand, you know, it's got some rust on it. Um, a 1940, 82 years old, this thing, you know, still flew. I, I believe it could have been fixed up. You know, now whether it was feasible just to fix it up or not, I don't know. But maybe to somebody's collection, they wanted a, a little cheap airplane and they're going to keep it. Yeah, I mean, look at what people do. They'll, you know, they'll take a Volkswagen, a 65 Volkswagen Beetle Bug. They'll put twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 in restoring it and they ain't never going to get that out of it. Never, you know. I just don't understand why he went from this engine to this engine or even if he did you know these are my questions did he do it if he did why why would you you know if he bought it and had this engine why would you swap engine if this had engine problems you know I mean look at this see how dirty this is you can see the dirt on that you can see how dirty that is there's no dirt on this engine okay so and and why would you like I said this one Here's on eBay for $4,500 or $4,800. You know, um, spend that kind of money, you, you buy the plane, and then you buy an engine, you're going to have 10, 12 grand in it on, on the cheap side for just to go crash. You know, I, I don't understand. I just thought it was, it was worth mentioning that this this engine is no longer was no longer in this plane when it was crashed you can see that right there I mean very plainly there's, there's no doubt in my mind that engine has been replaced but did he do it was it done before he got it and someone just tried to make it look like the other one but it looks to me like I said here's you know here's another one it's black it's got black heads on it um, this one yes of course has been painted um, but okay let's look at one that was taken out of a plane right here look it's dirty you see the paint you know I mean the screws ain't painted they're rusty so they've never been painted 
I mean, this is an, an original engine. You can tell by the plug wires, braided plug wires. Um, but look, I mean, this thing, it's dirty. You can tell. That's a used engine. You can tell this engine's been flown. Look, that's dirty. You know, the, sc the screws ain't painted. You can see that. That engine is dirty, you know. This engine, however, is not perfectly clean. Why would you do that just to crash it? I don't know. Just questions I, I'd like to have some answers to. Probably never will. But, you know, I just wanted to wanted to throw that in there, you know, about, about the engine. No one's mentioned it. So, I don't know. I don't know why not. It just seems to me like it could be, you know, proof that he was planning on, you know, could be if he changed motor. I don't know what motor was in it when he bought it. This is the motor that was in it five years ago running fine. Okay, guys, so there you go. I just don't understand, you know, the engine thing. I mean, that's a good-looking engine that he crashed. Um, I mean, just even take the time to paint it. That looks It looks to me like someone tried to make that engine look like the other engine. I don't know. There's, there, yeah, and there's so much more I want to touch on about this. Um, someone's brought to my attention a couple things that I didn't notice in my other videos that are, are very interesting. Um, and I'll get to that later. But uh, not in this video. This video is just about the engine. Why was that engine changed? You know, was it changed before? Okay, if it was, fine. It, it has nothing to do with this, you know. Someone changed the engine. They painted it up. Whatever. But if he changed it, why? You know, why? Why would you spend that kind of money on, a, on an engine? Spruce it up to make it look like the engine that was in there before just to crash it. Doesn't make sense. Of course, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. He's not all, all right up here. I, I don't care what anyone says. It's, it's What he did is not all right. And, and even think, that's, that's going to be cool. It's going to be a cool stunt. Well, you're not a stunt man. You know, I don't care about the snowboarding and all this. He's almost died how many times, guys? He's broke, he's back, he's, you know, whatever. He he needs to get out of the extreme sports then because, you know, it's like the boy who cried wolf. One of these days, if you don't get put behind bars, one of these days you are going to get killed. I, for one, am not going to send any flowers. I, I just, I, I have no respect for somebody that does something what what, what he did. And I have no respect for fake people faking videos and stuff. I, I just, I have no respect for anyone like that. It's just my opinion. Like I said, all this has been my opinion. So anyway, guys, thanks again for all your comments. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you have any answers, maybe, you know, if, if anything, <laughs> leave a comment below. Oh, yeah, by the way, the funny stuff, I'm loving it. <laughs> Keep it up. Uh, you guys should go back through them videos and read some of the comments. These, these boys and... These boys are getting creative, and you know, I'm loving every minute of it. So anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. More questions. <laughs> All right, y'all be safe. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.